what it is, what's happening. As promised, we're going to get some Jeep content. Let's get into it. So yeah, she's a little crusty. It's a shame because this thing has actually got 47,000 original miles documented on the title. Uh, it runs fantastic, but we've got some pretty bad rust. Our bed is pretty much junk. I mean, you can see we've got some holes all the way around. But it gets worse underneath. Let's take a look. Well, our shackle on the back has rotted and been kind of fixed back here. We've got some really bad rust on our shock mount right here. And the rail's thin. Got a hole in the frame up there where the cross member comes across. It just doesn't get any better until you get about halfway up front. This frame rail's not as hateful, but it's not much better. The chain is what's holding the leaf spring on because the shackle is rotted out. And as you can see, the bottom of the bed is gone. And it doesn't get much better when you get around the sides. This side's better than the other, but it's just gone. What am I gonna do? Well, as of right now, I've got a parts Jeep out back, a J20, with no rears, no motor, no trans. I did, however, the other day score a really nice complete frame. So I have a really nice rust-free frame that's already been cleaned and painted. Really, I should probably put a frame under it, but here's what I think we're going to do. The parts truck out back is a parts truck. It's going to give us two good fenders. This fender's rotten here, which isn't that bad, but since I have a rust-free one out back, why not use it? This one has got a lot of rust in it, and this inner fender well is rusty. What's really sad is the rest of the truck, well, when I say rest of the truck, it's pretty much just a cab and a hood, is decent. Um, bottoms of the doors are good. The cab's really nice. All the door heels and all are, are in good shape. The floor has been fixed on both sides. Not a really great fix, but it is fixed. Somebody did take the time to cut the rust out and then they just screwed sheet metal down. Not a great fix, but at the end of the day, at least they cut the rust out so it can't spread. That's not so hateful. We can fix that down the road, but all the floor cross members that are in, that are in these cabs are in good shape. That's a plus. We do, however, have some blistering in the thin spot right here on the rocker. In fact, I could probably make it a hole if I really want to. So we'll have to fix that as well. I made a deal over the phone on another J20 pickup that's got a really sweet bed on it. So I've got a bed locked down. I've kind of made a deal on, on the truck. Um, it's a J20. So it should have a Dana 60 rear. It should still be a 44 up front, but it's eight lug. I'm almost 99% locked in on that truck. I think we're gonna buy it. I think we're gonna use the rears out of it and use the bed off of it for this truck. Think what we're gonna do to salvage this truck because I'm on a time crunch. I really wanna use this truck in a couple of Jeep events coming up and I really, really wanna use it. So what I think we're gonna do because the rest of our frame is pretty nice. In fact, the frame looks really good on the outside. Right in here, there's a cross member and right on the other side of this cross member is nothing. I think we're gonna clip it. I think what we're gonna do is we're either gonna clip it right here at this cross member, right in front of it where this bed, bed mount is, um, or we're gonna do it right after. What I really guess what I really need to do is crawl in here. This cross member looks pretty good, but I can still pull rust out but it's nice and flat right here. So I think this is where we're gonna clip it. We're gonna cut it, throw the back half in the trash. We're gonna take our parts truck frame, which looks really good. I just went out back and crawled underneath of it. Um, and I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna clip it, use the rear half of that other frame. 
because even these boxes right here where the front leaf springs are, they're rusty on this truck. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to just cut the rear section off, put it on this truck, and roll. Down the road, I think we'll get the other frame eventually and put it on this truck. Maybe. Who knows? Clipping it, I'm not, it doesn't really bother me. Some guys are like, oh, you can't weld a, weld a frame. I've welded a lot of frames on trucks, pickup trucks, fixed stuff that was broken half. I'm not scared to. So, what we'll do is we'll, we'll cut her on an angle, just like, just like how we used to do it back in the day when we would uh, stretch truck frames, we'll cut them on an angle, like this. And then we'll fish, fish plate it on the inside, call it a day. Back in the day, that's how Ford always recommended doing it. Some guys straight up and down. Some guys cut them like this. I'm not going to go through all that. We're just going to cut them on an angle. Weld her up. Fish plate on the inside. Put a bed back on. Call it a day. I'm just, I've been back and forth with it in my head for three days now, trying to figure out which way I want to go about fixing this truck. I think that's going to be the best way, the fastest way to get this thing back together, get it on the road. The motor in the truck, this thing runs fantastic. Um, it's going to need brake lines. It's going to need brakes. We are going to lift this truck, which doesn't hurt my feelings. Um, if you look, here, let me spin you around. If you look, you can see our springs are so rusty that they're actually spreading apart. So, I mean, I wanted to lift the truck anyway. Um, I've got, and our parts truck out back has a set of lift springs in it. So that'll be great to save some money just had to buy shocks in fact the parts trucks even got a pitman arm so we pretty much only have to buy a set of shocks for this thing and the rear of the truck is the only question mark um this thing actually sits lower in the rear than the front does now i have a set of nine inch lift springs for a 79 bronco i measured them up they're about the same length so i think i'm going to use them in the rear i'm just going to have to play it by ear and see what they look like. I think the truck, with what the springs are in the in the parts truck, I think it's going to sit level. At least it looks like it will. Um, I, I've been lifting trucks. I used to own an off-road shop. I've been doing this for 30 years, so it um, shouldn't be a big issue. But I think that's what we're going to do to save this thing and to get it done faster. Yeah, I could probably put a frame under it, and it probably would be really the way to go but here's what's going to happen and i already know this because i know how i am with projects if i go and put a frame under this thing it's going to turn into a restoration project project because i'm going to want to clean the motor i'm going to want to paint the motor i'm going to want to paint every piece i put on it i'm going to want to fix the floor i'm going to want to pay I, I don't and that's not what i want to do so if i stop this right now and we just repair the truck we're good because i won't get that detailed into it because I know how I get with this stuff, and I don't want to do that with this project, not at this point in time. I don't know what the cab is on the other truck in Jersey that we're trying to buy. He said it had a soft spot in the floor, but he wasn't. He didn't want to tell me the cab was junk or not. I was really after the bed, and we got to talking on the phone, and we made an all, made all an offer on the whole truck. Um, and I'd much just rather buy the whole truck, because like I said, I'll end up with um, I'm pretty sure that they used the Dana 60 in the J10s. And if I'm not correct, somebody can correct me in the comments. But it will we'll be 8 lug instead of 6 lug. And I'm almost positive it's still a 44 in the front, just 8 lug outers. Which that's fine with me. I'm okay with that. So, um, that's where we're at with the Jeep project right now. Money-wise, uh, I'm into this this thing I'm getting into it a little deeper than I wanted to. We buy the other truck with this truck and the other truck. I'm at like almost five grand. Way more than I originally wanted to be in this entire project. I wanted to be five grand with wheels and tires on the ground driving. Um, unfortunately, this thing turned out to be a little rustier than um, I was expecting. Uh, originally, when I set out to buy, the, when I set out to, buy this truck um i had intentions of putting the other truck which is now our parts truck putting it together 
But I got this truck, and since this truck was a low-mileage truck, I thought this is the truck to put together. But now, after getting it home, getting it on the lift, and looking it over really good, this one's a little rustier. Now, this one came from up in PA, which is probably why it's rusty. This truck sat a lot. It did not get driven a lot. Um, the gentleman I bought it from, super, super nice guy. He's owned it for a very long time, but he hardly ever used it. Um, he stopped driving it because of the shackle on the other side with the chain wrapped around the frame. Um, it broke off the frame. The driver's side did a couple years ago. He patched it up, and then the other side did it. The bed's so bad that it's just, it's actually not even bolted to the back of the frame. It's just rotted off the frame. So I can actually pick, we can actually pick the bed up off the frame in the back. That's why I'm not even going to attempt to try to do anything with it. They do sell bed sides. You can buy bed sides. Uh, they're not cheap. But this bed's not even worth putting sides on. I mean, there's just, there's nothing left. It's just, it's all gone. The bed on the parts truck it's got a lot of cancer through here, but the worst part is it's got a lot of cancer above the flare. The flares are good, but above the flare, it's rotted. Again, it's too much. They do make bedsides. They're $800 a side, so it's 800 bucks here, 800 bucks over there. I'm going to have that in an entire parts truck with a good bed. So that, I just kind of sat down and run the numbers quick and went, you know, if I'm going to get into this project... If this bed was, st if the cross members were still good in the bed, I'd leave this rust and I wouldn't worry about it. For what I want to do with this truck, this rust doesn't bother me. But all the structure to the bed is gone. Now, a couple guys said, why don't you just make a flat bed? I gave that a lot of thought too. But, man, they just look so good with, with the bed. I just, it loses the look of the truck. That's the whole, the bed is about, that's what makes the truck, the bed. So I don't think it would look good with a flat bed. I want the bed back on it that's supposed to be on it. So, got lucky. This one's somewhat close to home. You know, it's a few hours away, but actually if I lived up where I used to live, it would only be an hour away from home, but it is what it is. That's where we're at right now. So, we will, the next couple of days, I'll know 100% sure if I've got the truck. Um, I'm just waiting on him to send me some more pictures of it. We talked on the phone the other night. Um, kind of locked each other in on a price. Um, I told him I was down for it. Um, just waiting on him to send me a few more pictures just to just to verify the bed. But from everything he's told me, I, I'm pretty much done. It's got custom bumpers on the front and rear. I thought they were worth something. The fact that it's a J20, it'll give us eight lug rears, three quarter ton rears on the truck. Um, that kind of excited me a little bit too. So I think there's enough stuff on the truck that we can use on this truck when it's all said and done and this one's all together then i'm going to take what's left of the stuff and try to sell a lot of that stuff because i'm going to end up with three good hoods uh i'm going to end up with a couple sets of doors dashes uh one truck's got a tilt column in it so i'm going to end up with a lot of pieces i think i can re recover about half of my money maybe we'll see I want to say half. I shouldn't. I shouldn't say half. I, I should say we should be able to rec recover some of our money we put out for parts, not counting buying this truck. So that's where we're at with the J10 Jeep project. Uh, I know some guys have been wanting to see what's going on with it. Uh, once I start diving into tearing tearing stuff apart, I will do some videos on it. Uh, we're going to get the parts truck out of there this weekend and um, get the bed off of the parts truck. I'm not going to throw the other part, the bed away. Because the other bed, other than the sides, is solid. So I'm going to hold on to it. It's got a good tailgate. The tailgates, I know, are bringing good money. So I'm going to actually have two tailgates now because the tailgate on this truck is actually really nice. And the tailgate on the truck that we're getting in Jersey has got a good tailgate as well. So I'm going to drag the other truck out, like I said. We're going to lob the frame off, cut it off. Something else, too, I thought interesting to truck out back's at 84 this is a 79 truck out back's got a plastic gas tank this one's got a metal tank so we might look at that we might throw the plastic tank in this truck i don't know this truck sat a while so i don't know what the inside of this tank looks like metal tanks always bother me when they come from a vehicle that sat for a long time we'll cross that bridge when we get to it our, right now our biggest thing is 
get this bed off, get the bed off the parts truck, cut the frame off the parts truck, cut the frame off of this one, and I'll start working on it. And I'll bring guys along. Um, I don't know when I'm going to start on it. I got, I've got some work I got to do here in the shop. Um, I got a 2016 Honda out there that needs a trans and I got a S10 I need to do some work on. So I kind of need to lift in the inside space. So this thing's still together and still runs. So, um, it might just go back outside for right at the moment. I might just get the frame cut off and that way we can clean it up and paint it and get it ready. Um, so that way when I bring this truck back in, we're only, we're only inside for a few days knock it out hopefully by then we'll have bought the other truck for the bed just put it back together so that's all i got for you for right now uh, i wanted to give some kind of a video out there for you guys and uh, let you know where we're at uh, as far as our bronco that we were working on our bronco that we're doing on the channel as well uh all the brakes are done we just got our set of uh taiwani injectors came in um of course, the shop's a mess as usual. We bought some Taiwani injectors. We've got our upper intake gasket, and that's actually what I'm working on this evening. Um, I'll pop the intake off and um, knock out these injectors. Hopefully, that'll get that thing running on all six cylinders again. So, look, I'm going to get at it. I'll do a little filming on that, and uh, I'll holler at you on the next one. See you.